Hello everybody, today we are doing a gold for Domba VOD on Ascension Peak. Reminder that if you want your own VOD done, let's let me know in the YouTube comments, in Twitch as a redeem, or in the Discord channel on the Submit a VOD. Just either post a replay, a valid match ID, or like a replay on YouTube. So, that out of the way, let's get into this. So win conditions right off the bat, we've got PPL comps basically. So by that I mean we've got standard versus standard. Um, so right off the bat, this says range. Um, this is maybe a bit beefier. This is better early. Um, I don't know the Azan Koa matchup. This tends to be kind of slow. Zen tends to be pretty aggressive. Koga's. I mean, eh, Zen's not really aggressive. Both these. You have very, very similar comps. I don't know. This is almost exactly mirrored. I think they beat your guys offline. So I think that alone makes you guys play slow. Um, and that is entirely dependent on the Koa going half shell. If you guys... If he doesn't go half shell, then Fear is going to farm him. If he has no resale. The Azan's probably just going to farm him if he has no resale. And they don't exactly have high damage outputs. The Azan probably lives pretty good. So, um, half shell uh, kind of, you know, affects a lot. Let's see if he goes half shell or not, actually. Did we get a decision? Okay, we did get half shell. Alright, so that sucks for you guys. Um, so you guys are probably playing slower. It's kind of a Sentient Peak, it's just going to turn into a poke fest. Wind conditions for you are just going to be farming whatever you get with alt, so... You're both going front to back. Range is very even. Initiative is very even, especially because it's Ascension, so... A lot of this is going to be like little micro stuff. Um, so by little micro stuff, I mean like, alright, Leon wants to fight at slightly longer ranges than Cassie, Cassie wants to fight at little close ranges, Cassie maybe wants to fight more, um, into the DPS than Leon does. Like, if you get on top of their backline ever, you guys are probably more aggressive. You guys are probably more aggressive. You guys have better ults to be more aggressive with, you have the Azan, you, yeah, I think, okay. I think you're probably looking to be somewhat aggressive. Okay, with that out of the way, <laughs> that was probably too much. Um, you have very, basically you have very similar comps, the differences are very small. Um, I, I wouldn't worry about it too much in a gold game, it's just enough to know that your comps are basically even. So you're probably just going to look for changes in rollouts that are going to determine things. Your build is fine, you have no gourd CDR, so typically what I do, um, this is speed on sliver. And this is many gourds four, um, and this is dr five, and this is four. Um, this is speed. That's what I do. This is fine. Um, <clears throat> this sort of build, I, I think gourd CD is really really good. Um, I can kind of see why you don't need it this game. Like it's not like you have a term or a an R that really is going to get a value out of Gord, but I don't know, like, Gord's just going to give you more ultra charge, more healing, more stats, like, you don't need the extra total HP, you are more than survivable enough with DR, so, the only reason you run HP is if you, like, need it, you know, that, that makes, that, that, that sounds very obvious, but like, you don't need, it. you're surviving just fine. Tanks go right, Leon goes left. I will never miss the chance to talk about this area of the map because it's complete garbage and it's worthless. Um, so this area is good for one reason and that's because it lets you access backline quicker. Um, the thing is though, is once you actually like cross this area, it's really ass. It's really bad. It's open. Unless there's someone like right here, it's, it's just not good. Um, if you're like a ruckus, you can get into backline faster. But this, this area, and even like just this area in general, like literally the space that you're you're trying to contest is very, very bad. This is pretty worthless. Nobody cares about this spot of the map. So, um, your support, you're, you're just going where your team goes, but just as a 
general. Don't don't try to play there. Okay, so we got some internet. Nice try, you probably get on point. You get on point earlier, but otherwise, yeah, that was good. I don't know what that Gord's doing, but whatever. Grenado's emoting. Cool. Hey, okay. So, zones, right? Um, you're not zoning. Let's talk about zones, right? Zones. Um, three lanes. There's one lane that goes like this, there's one lane that goes like this, and there's like all this area. This is kind of like the same-ish. Um, you know that your team is watching this one because you see these on here. You know your team is watching this one. Your team is not watching that one. So, so a better use for that gourd that you have would be to throw it um, if you have time. Um, just about right here. Just so that anything gets dismounted and you know if it's coming. Just look at what there's... Okay, the Koga could have gone around. You get the idea. I'm trying to decide if you're trying to be like committing with the Azan or if you're trying to be LOS and this Leon right now. Because I think those are your options, right? And your team is in and you can just help them by right clicking. So I think seeing you were. I think just staying back in LOS and Leon is fine, but I don't think you knew that she had LOS on you. So. Mm. Stuns are cool. One of the most rather. I don't know how that is. You, you're looking at something else. Um, to remind the call is good. You have follow up. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, why? Why do you not have follow up? Um, this is part of the reason why I go. Like, there's two reasons. Okay, the reason that you don't go in front of your tanks is because you die. But the other reason that you don't go in front of your tanks is because then you have to like keep turning around and back and forth and stuff, and it's awkward. Um. So if you do the exact same thing, but you stay behind your Azan, you're able to do damage and heal them. Um, realistically, you could have just turned around and healed them anyways. Um, and that's sort of like, you know, what you do, what you could have done, but like the concept there is just like unironically never go in front of your tanks. Um, if you're like playing with them. But like, it still works out, I guess. It's just tougher, you know? Also, um, no value out of the extra 200 HP so far. You missed the Zen twice now, which is it. not the end of the world, but... If your Nano's just gonna take point, go up with your Zen. So I've wrapped up, because like, you're not doing anything from here, it's hard to do stuff up here, but if you were... If you had rotated as soon as, like... You know, like, what are you gonna do from down here? Um, you'd be fighting off the barrack. Guarantee you, like, and this is on as more health. The barrack has less health. You guys are taking space there, um, and you have better LOS to help whatever the heck is going to happen on the left side. Doesn't have to drop. The barrack drops anyway, so it's like whatever. Oh, he alts. Okay. Um, so your team is kind of committed. You could probably push. Uh, again, it just goes better if if you're top. Um, like you're doing fine things, you're outputting fine things. I've got nothing really to say about like what you're you're doing from this position. It's just I don't think this position is good. And now you get out because you have like two people alive. Before. Die or get out. You're probably dying here. Yeah. Throw a gourd before you die, I guess I'll church. Alright, alright, they why? Like, let's say that you're theoretically never gonna die this game. Like, let's say, let's say you're under no pressure at all, right? At that point, you'd buy just like output cards, right? Many gourds, swift spirits, like selfless cards, stuff that's gonna just output value. Kronos, morale boost. Um, then you have like the more defensive stuff, right? Rizal, Haven, Vet, um, Nimble to a point. Nimble can be both, but. Deft hands, I consider um, a defensive item because you're never really going for offensive stuns with deft hands. Like it's not like worth 
Um, because you just you can't like spam stun, so you're gonna stun them once. They're gonna go okay, and then you can't do it again for. It's just not worth. Um, so when I see Deft Hands, it's like okay, I need this to survive. Talus or Eevee or Rom Ruckus, something's on me. I don't think you're ever gonna need it. Like you're gonna get use out of Deft Hands just because you're gonna be reloading, but I don't think that you're ever gonna get value out of it. If you're gonna be safe, just spam yellow, spam Chrono, spam Morale. Nimble if you really want to get around fast, but like there's no reason for you to like. What's the result looking like? You're the, you're the only CC on your team. Like you can actually farm your ult here. No, well, not necessarily like farm your ult. But, like you can get a lot of value with your ult. Like you're building your ult pretty fast, you know. You're doing a pretty good job of building your ult. If you had morale boost here, like you'd you'd feel pretty good about ulting like next fight, and then maybe having it for the second fight on mid. Take high, take high, or don't. Hey, the fight's going kind of, kind of going past high. Fair enough. That heal should have gone on Zion. Let's see who's going in. Not a big deal. I had 100% ult here. I want to get this game to over with. Thank you. Realistically, you, want, you guys want to bring this to late game, right? Maybe? I mean, it's Saris. Like, Saris is gonna... Yeah. Regardless, you're gonna have more impact early, right? Just that's that's kind of how sports work. You're gonna have more impact early, so have your impact. Dillman's. I don't know what that Gord is doing. That Gord could have gone to this Nando at the barrack. So, hmm. Zin dies. That's kind of why you want to be proactive, because your team sucks. So, like, where do you go here, right? That's kind of like the question, because like I, I feel like you know. Like, you're sitting back, you're healing, you're not doing anything to win the fight, right? It's like, what do you do to win the fight? Well, you're probably just ulting something. They have no reason. The core is half HP. The shields are down. You want to be ulting, right? But it's like, you know, how you, do you ult from here? Um, so there's two things you can do. One is you can recognize that the Leon is top right, and nothing is actually threatening you if you just stand in the open right now. Like, the only reason wide peeking is bad is because you get shot, but if there's nothing to actually shoot you, it's just better angles, right? Um, and you have sliver to get back if you really need to. And the other position that you take, and this is really ballsy, um, is you walk up here and you play behind this tree. This sucks. This is really bad. But like, it's all you got, right? You're attacking. You need to make something happen. Um, if you're doing this, make sure you gourd yourself. Dombo with gourd and 20% DR early game with stun, with alt available. You're not going to die. So it's going to suck. You're going to take a lot of damage, but you're going to like be able to push up and be in a spot to alt something. And literally just, like, just walk up. Oh, that's not the right buttons, it's the F key. No, hold up. Numpad. I've been playing too much Overwatch, sorry. How do I... Oh, it's F. Oh my god, sorry. My spectator controls are rusty. Like, wait, wait, are you scared of a Saris? Oh no, Saris is shooting me. Good job doing damage. There you go, do this. Oh, oh guard yourself first! Okay. Um, I'm not sure where this all- I, you lost it, right? So, you have three people alive, they have three people alive, their respawns are long enough. I, I don't think you have the damage output to push this in, I think the barrack lives. I think if you all high ground, nothing happens, even if, like, let's say you kill Leon, I don't think anything happens, I don't think you- I, I think this is too late, basically, this is a short version. I don't think you can push this in. I think what you were going for was good. Right? I think the idea was good, but I think you do it earlier, and I think you do it with, like, more HP. <laughs> um, I feel like you committed, like, you, you had the play, and you, like, you slipped it up here, and you're like, I'm going to ult them. And then you got to 900 HP, you're like, I'm still going to ult them. Right? You were one track of mine, so, like, that's cool. Just, like, gorge yourself when you do those aggressive plays. You have the right ideas, though. I, lo I love losing all my ults in a situation like that. If you buy more deft hands, like if you had morale boost mode and you ulted like at the start there, you'd be like 50% maybe? 40? But more deft hands, because why? So, so far, no value to 200 HP. Hasn't helped you live when you otherwise wouldn't have without the card, and I haven't seen any value to deft hands yet. Okay, that's a. F Is he Geo? Okay. So that works out, I guess. Okay. I'm just gonna say, if you were gonna help this guy out, he's probably gonna push forward, so you might want to put the Gord more forward than that. 
to be in the space that he's going to be in a few seconds, but he got poked out, so it worked out. Cool, cool, cool. Your team's kind of dumpstering them. Well, you did say you lose this, and I'm kind of curious how. I guess he, them staggering after Zen gets a pick is like a kind of shaky way to win a fight. Because what if Zen misses that? What if Zen trades? What if he dies and doesn't even get a kill? Same thing, your team's not watching left. Look at that barrack on Okay, no, your team's watching left. Okay, that's a pretty good sound. You could throw that higher. But whatever. Is that like a little. How much of an angle do you have there? Hmm. How did your Cassie get up there? That's interesting. Real talk, time to stop that guy. Your team's still kind of pounding. Um, okay. So, first of all, for what it's worth, you just missed five heals in a row, um, and like it is what it is, right? Like I'm not, I'm not here to say hit more shots because you know that, but at some point, like better mechanics are directly gonna make you heal more, like and it has more of an impact than you think. Um, so, however you find it best to work on that stuff, then I would recommend it. Um, during this koa. Um, First of all, you are very exposed doing this, and I get you're making an aggressive play, it's somewhat risky, but I think this is overly risky um, for what you're going to get out of it. You're walking into mid, I think. You've used Sliver, right? Oh, no, you haven't. Okay. Um, you haven't used Sliver. That's cool, then. You're probably going to live. You're probably going to be low, but get forced out. I don't think you get the kill on this, is it, this Koa because, well, one, you have four people alive, right? No? Oh, you're a Zon's up. Ulti up there. Never mind. Um, okay. So I don't like this all. Because I don't think he gets a kill. <laughs> it's like the short version. Um, there's no follow up on this. So, like, you forced it. Like, cool. This is like this is the idea. You do want to be making aggressive play with fault here, but like, this isn't it because there's no follow up, right? You're the follow up. Great. Look at like if you all. I don't know. Maybe like here. That's three people. Four people. And you get that just by positioning from behind the tree. Like, what's happened? You might as well have not have altered that call, right? He's missing like 800 HP that he. Wouldn't be right. Um, so maybe it lets you walk up. But like maybe if if you walk up, you're here. Like maybe the Nando's there. Then you fear the car. Then you kill him before all. You know that's that's something you can do. Um, but if you're just here, like this looks like a much better alt. I don't think you had to force it. Like you just walk forward and you'll get a chance. Especially since your zone was also making space, like your your zone was pushing top and you pushed Nikola, and that's like that can work. Um, but it's iffy. You're just dead here. All right, all right. They get hot, they get There's not really much to say, all right, all right, other than like that one time we didn't take high, and like making sure your alts are confirmable and how you did that on last ch last choke ascension. Oh, I should probably like go to perspectives then. Okay. Thirty seconds left. That's the stage. I don't know why your your tanks need healing. Cool, contesting her. That's awesome. Good job. Fifteen seconds. Your team is pushing. Mm. Ten. Nine, it's really hard. Eight, it's just it's just hard for you to support that man. Seven, six, like your Cassie made an aggressive play, she got all like that that, that happens, three, honestly. Two, one. I don't know right, I don't think you should be pushing now, here by one. yourself. Um yeah that's gonna happen. That was kinda tempting fate, gourd yourself. Um yeah, that's just kind of like a matchup specific thing. This gourd or <laughs> hey. This little this little hall in ascension is this is prime spam angle, um, so you kind of just got to be aware of that. But 
so like you're, if your Zon is pushing here, then what you did was fine. But you did it by yourself. You put, like I know this isn't very like wide peaking. You're not exactly peaking a wide angle, but you're peaking a super important angle, right? So like you're you're effectively like walking around a corner into an op or whatever, you know. Um, so just be careful about that. There's no reason for you to like force anything. Like people were your Zin was respawning, your Cassie just died and was respawning. Um the way you win that fight realistically is like them taking too long to kill your tanks. Um and then maybe feeding. Maybe your tank's getting lucky pick. Are you getting a stun on something? Um and but you just chill. and especially like into the Makoa. Like if that was a con, like maybe he shoots you, maybe you like have to sliver and board yourself or whatever, but like Koa just ends up being a kill. And you use Zinult. That was what one of the last bit fight. That and that and them staggering. You could have maybe dismounted earlier, get the right click on the Nando. It's not the end of the world. Um, buy an item, please. I don't. There's again. I, there's no reason to buy Deft Hands. There's no Five, reason to buy Deft Hands Tree, please. Three, um, if you are gonna buy anything, you buy one. Nimble. Nimble helps you get out of Koga and Koa alts. It helps you kite. Helps you move around. I think morale boost is still good because I feel like they're not buying Rizal and they're not. If the enemy team is not like, listen, the other team should have to buy Rizal for us for one Maldamba. If you're the only CC on your team, they should have to buy Rizal for you. If they are not buying Rizal, then you are making them buy Rizal. You are not ulting enough and well enough if they're not buying Rizal for you. And if you are, are ulting often enough and well enough, and they're not buying Rizal for you, then you you should be winning the game. Hey, this is why you stay in your mount. If you um, if you stay on your mount, because like there's no reason for you to like be dismounted, um, you can unironically maybe mount up to like the backline and alt it. <laughs> um, with your with your Zon here, but that didn't end up happening. But you know, it's giving yourself an opportunity. Um, that's a turbo feed. I like the alt. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, usually it's like. Make the alt confirmable and stuff, but <laughs> like that's that's where everybody was. Are you sure you lose this? Like what happens? Like listen, your team's been dumpstering them. You haven't had to do much, right? So like that was risky because you're not like. Listen, the thing, like the warning signs here, is that like you had a lot of distance from your zone. Like you you were far away from that fight. When it started, right, you kind of had to like slither in, throw in the fear, took you know, travel time and stuff. And that's kind of just because you stayed on your mount, or you, you dismounted early. So stay on your mount. Um, that one time you didn't rotate high ground, and your alts when you're pushing last can be confirmable. And like how to do that on ascension. But like other than that, man, it's been, it's been decent. Like something, stuff like that, right? But it's like I'm not going to harp on that too much. Like, you tunnel visioned on doing damage for some reason, right? Um, and you lost track of your Cassie. And it's like, yeah, I, I can point that out. But ultimately, what's going to get you better at that is just playing the game more. Like, make sure you're looking for it. Oh, that, okay, well, don't do that. That's stupid. That's really stupid. Don't do that. <laughs> don't sliver forward. Yeah. Go a little position. We'll put ton of positional mistakes like that. Hey, you're doing it again. Also, unironically mechanics. Like, it maybe doesn't lose you the game. Oh. But. You are also doing your part in staggering here. You can't do anything if your team staggers, but you can not stagger yourself, and you staggered yourself there because you went in too early. Like, if you're going first, like, something's wrong if, you, if the support is leading the charge, you know? Even if you're just respawning. So it's like you can't do anything about your four teammates. You can do it. You can do something about your one teammate. That's so you. What's the healing looking like? That's good. Ten k per minute. Probably out damaging. Yeah. Nice. Walk forward. You could sliver into that. That's a kill. You can get. Heal the Zen there, not the Nando. Just because the Zen, like they were both in, but. You know, healing a Zen for like however much Dombu. How much does Zombie heal for? It's like a 275 burst. 
Well, it's obviously more impactful to a Zim than a man now. You can you can ignore your tanks for a surprising amount of time. Um, your DPS, uh, not so much. Thirty seconds left. You know, so you just like walked through mid there, but you didn't really get punished because no, because like they weren't looking at you. Okay. Um, I get. Okay, so I, I think let me try to guess the thought process here. Right? It's like okay, my DPS is pushing over here. Um, I'm gonna go help that. Right? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna ult something. I'm gonna go see what my Zen is looking for, and then I'm gonna ult it. Cool, look at me, I'm following my Zen. Holy shit, my Zen has left me. My Zen is gone. Um, hi, Koa, oh god, oh fuck, fear. Um, now that's cool and all. Um, and I think that's like the right idea. Like, I, I think the intentions behind that, like the fundamentals there are fine. Follow your DPS, right? Use your alt, push, right? Like, that's kind of, that's good, right? That, that's, that's good fundamentals. The reasons why it doesn't work here is one, because you're Zen fed, like, unironically. Um, you could have healed him, maybe. I don't think you had a right click on him. Um, but dashing to their high ground and not using any CDs afterwards, not very good. I also don't think that you should have followed him in the first place. All your DPS is there so that you can enable them and, like, it helps you stay safe. I don't think you're Zen needed enabling there. It's kind of like a flank, right? It's like. The deep, like you have two DPS, right? If you're on certain beach as a support and you have like some DPS, some backliner on high ground, and you have like some flank over in dial, like you're gonna follow the backliner on high ground, just because like that's kind of the the synergy there is better, right? The, you can follow the flanker, sure, but like that puts you in a worse, it puts you in a spot to do nothing, right? And you're not really supporting the flank that hard. And I think we kind of got the same situation here. Like let's go to your Cassie's POV, right? What could like Look how much she's gonna get a lot down out of this fear, right? How much HP does this dude have? Okay, maybe not one shot. Maybe one shot in a gourd. Or maybe maybe you could get two shots in. You could probably get two shots in. So like, let's say, let's say that you follow your Cassie instead, right? And your Zen goes and does this. And while there's not too much you can do about that, maybe you throw him a right click. Maybe you see he's going for it. Maybe you throw him a right click. But really, like, this is the DPS that you follow here. Um, taking those big wide flanks also does something else that's bad is none of your tanks are both really low because you haven't run with them so like yeah follow your DPS um, following flanks like that is not great though because it strips away stuff from your other DPS that you'd probably rather be helping and it kind of screws over your tanks and it kind of screws over you too because now you're in a shit spot right so this side is cool if like multiple people are pushing it or if you have some way to keep your tanks alive like if you have ying ult you know and your zim's going around it's like yeah sure whatever go go ahead pop ying ult everyone's fine you get to go on a cheesy little flank go for it right but your damba you can't heal your tanks you get more value out of following your cassie you probably just die anyways right yeah i mean there's nothing that you could have done to get out of that situation the only thing you can do is not put yourself in that situation you also took a pretty significant risk alting that light. Like, your team hasn't pushed once, right? Your team is kind of just getting stuffed. Or, you know, kind of getting stomped at the last choke. Um, and your ult, realistically, is how you carry as a support. Um, especially versus this. God damn, I see this, and this, this is free. Now, Leon doesn't have a result. The Saris doesn't have a result. The Barrack? Okay, well, I mean, like, I can watch for cooldowns. I can track Leon ult. I can track Barrack shields. I can track Shadow Travel. And, um. Hmm, you know? Seems pretty okay. Like, Saris walks in and also you fear that. I mean, hey, that's perfect kill. You pop out of your ult. The Saris is still stunned because no reason. Pretty cool. Buy item, please. Like, Haven, Nimble, something. We're just gonna waste 500 credits, alright? Morale boost actually would probably be the best. So same here, like your Cassie's going on some sort of flank. That's great. You could follow that, but you're gonna get more value out of like following like your team, like your, your core almost. I want to say that's a very Overwatch word, but you know. Cool. Um, Nandal, that's a really big Nandal. You are tunnel visioning a little bit again. Um, you're getting slightly in front of people. So one, you haven't tra checked on your Azan in a while. Two, you're gonna have to sliver away because, like, you could have just been back here, 
when you're just spamming this, Sarah's ult happens, you dip behind. Like, you, you never just, like, have to break. You know, never just stop shooting and outputting stuff. Right, you just sit back here, you have full view on everything. You probably have a cord in there somewhere. Like, you're just, you're just slightly too forward. It's so, like, listen, it's, this is the same reason that you have, like, max FOV, right? Like, if you, if you had this lower, like, the reason that you have max FOV is just so you can see shit better, right? Um, it's like, you kind of want the same thing you're positioning. Like, it's just so much easier to keep track of everyone if they're in front of you. Now, your nano kind of feeds a little bit, but in that time that you, um... You know, you spent slivering away because you were under pressure. Like, you didn't have to put yourself under any pressure. You could have just sat back and outputted things. Now, again, this is a 5 year tree, so die or get out. Try to get out. Probably should have just died on point. Mm, I, I'd say right click for your Cassie here. Like, look at that. Well, I thought you have LOS on her. I she should be out of. She looks like she's out of COD. Um, the Nano is pulling for the Koga. Like, okay, real talk. Time to stop. I'm not saying. I'm not saying she lives. I'm not saying she lives. Maybe she doesn't. But you could have definitely like made that closer. Enemy the, the oh shit moment started to kick in. Ooh, this is not where you want to go. Um, this is in the open. Now you're gonna get dashed on. You could have gone, it's in here. Make a bush run to another corner. Only thing you have to be careful of is these little whale, whale statues. These things are bitches. These hip, the hitboxes on these things are massive and they're like, they're, they're very, like, they're almost like, you know, like you will get caught on these things, right? How do I draw, hold up, it's like, you know, you will get caught on the corners of these things. Is this the point? Um, so just be careful. But like, that's probably probably where you go in this situation. Um, I don't know if you could have reapproached that better. I wasn't really paying attention. So here's on. Mm. That is a very good McCall. I mean, if you don't know that the Leon's there, okay, real talk, time yeah, stop. if you right click the Cassie, Enemy <laughs> dub, look out. and then your Zen kind of, oh boy. All right, all right, they get yeah, I see, I, what, what did you say in the Nevada review thing? This game is totally winnable, I fucked up a good handful of times, but I'm not sure how. Um, I wouldn't say you fucked up too much, like you played that pretty well for the most part. Um, I think your team was definitely doing some weird stuff. I think it's also worth pointing out. Um, morale boost gets you an ult. I'm not saying morale boost wins you the game, but maybe. Maybe on retake there. If you have morale boost instead of deft hands, right? Because I don't think deft hands got you anything. I don't think an extra 200 HP got you anything. Let's say you go down like the stairs here, you respawn to your Cassie, you give her a right click, you have you have ult, you fear the Koga. Um, Cassie lives, Koga dies. Um, let's say you're Zin. Okay, well, your Zin's up now. Well, maybe you heal him. Maybe because you have many gourds, you can output more healing. Right? Maybe you keep him alive. Maybe even on the fight before, maybe because you aren't so close to the people that you're fighting with. Um, and, like, I'm not saying that, like, playing behind people is bad, right? Like, it, you know, if you're playing here, like, if they're there, like, you don't, you don't want to be here is, is the point I'm saying. Like, you don't want to be up their ass, right? You want to be, like, behind them, <laughs> you know? Um, it's just, and it's not necessarily an even inherently bad to be too close to them unless the other team is blasters. It's just, like, it just makes it so much easier, you know? You, you just get to sit back and... Left click, right click, or left click, right click, or and you're just vibing and outputting outputting value. Um, so if you do that, then maybe maybe people live. Honestly, maybe people live because your healing's like fine. Like your healing is fine. You just didn't really put yourself in a position to do any good healing because you were like, oh shit, and slivering away, right? Um, and I think on 
the pushes. I think you were following the wrong DPS, and I think you had the right idea, but I don't think you executed it well for Ascension Peak. So I think you go to the tree. Um, yeah, don't follow your Zin. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think that's it, honestly. You guys don't have a... No. For what it's worth. Like, it's, it's lost, but like, if you are if you do have to go for a cheeky touch like this, go for a different lane that, that's not mid, but... Not the end of the world. God, you really got ice when I see... Like, that, you were the better team there, right? You were the better team. Um, but... That's not what the win-loss says, so... Yeah. Hope that's helpful. I probably spent way too much time talking about win conditions and stuff when that didn't really have any relevance on the game. Mostly because it was very, very even PPL comps, so it's going to be mostly gameplay stuff. And now the bots are playing, so that's our key to leave, so... Links, or uh, notes will be below, and all that good stuff, so if you want your own VOD, remember, um, either YouTube, Discord, or Twitch. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.